Hello guys, welcome back to SWS Boxing. Delighted to be joined with Elroy um, Fruto. He is one win, one defeat, with one no contest as well. And he's on the he's on the Regress Pro Progress card um, this weekend. And it's, it's a huge opportunity for you, isn't it, mate, to show your skills on the big stage? Oh, definitely. Like, I'm just so excited to be here. Like, just being in the press conference earlier... Man, it was so wild. I was I was laughing like so uh, one of the undercards, oh man, they're just talking beef with each other already. So like it's already uh it's already exciting. It's just I'm just excited to be here, just ready to show off my skill set, show them what kind of fighter I really am. Mm-hmm. Of course, mate. And of course your career's been a bit of um, a few mixed results, of course. Should we talk about um your win? And um how happy were you with your first ever victory? Uh, it was it was a good fight for me. I I can't say yeah. You're always your own biggest critic, you know. Um, I'd say I wasn't super happy with it. I was happy that I got the win, uh, because I knew I deserved it. But I thought I could have done better. You know, we always think we can do better, you know. Like I wanted to try to put him down at least once, but the guy was strong. He kept he kept coming forward too. Like and he was a good boxer. So yeah. Um, of course, and then you suffered that um defeat. Um, how hard again? Again, how hard? Like, how hard was it to take that defeat? Um, it was. It wasn't really disheartening because I've been used to bad decisions back in my amateur days too. Because I used to fight pro amateurs, but yeah, I thought I won because I thought I, I was the aggressor. I did more damage to the guy too. But were you in the away corner? Uh yeah, basically, yeah, I was. Mm hmm And um so, so oh, so you weren't like upset because you thought you did enough to win. Oh yeah, I, I thought it did great. Like I, I injured my opponent good, like I got him hurt, but I wasn't really hurt in the fight as well. Like I thought it did great. The uh, my my opponent like boxed well as well. And uh he did So how he did many it. of the rounds did you like would you have gave yourself? I'd say maybe three out of the four. Mm -hmm. in my, I, there was so do one you think quite convincingly, you thought? Yeah, in, in my opinion, yeah. But it, it, it's what the judges see, and then it's really up to them. I have no real problem it with it. It is what it is, unfortunately. But... Exactly, man. You know what it is. Yes, mate. Because I've seen a few... Uh, we've seen robberies. Robberies happen all the time in boxing, I'm afraid, isn't it? It's just irritating. Yeah, you know, can't, you know, as a fan, as a fight fan too, like, you feel for these fighters, especially with like uh, the most recent one, in my opinion, Lomachenko and Haney. Um, I thought Loma took it even by the slightest margin. But, you know, if, if you're fighting the champ, you have to really, really beat the champ. Otherwise, the judges will see otherwise. And, you know. Yeah. Because so, for me... I didn't. I don't think it was a robbery with that fight. I had it pretty close, mate. It was. It was definitely close, though. I think people were shouting robbery at that one sixteen one eleven card. I mean, what is that? It's just right. that one's a bit too he far for me. He already scored it for Haney when it was clearly Lomachenko's round. You know, it, it was a close fight. You know, it could honestly could have gone either way. As I want to well, see but... a rematch, personally. What about yeah. you? Oh, definitely, man. I think all close matches should get a rematch. Like, What about Shakur uh, v. Haney? Yeah. Oh, I'd like to see that fight. They used to fight the amateurs, too. Like, I always thought uh, Shakur edged it out. Like, he said, he said so himself that... Wait, Shakur you watched it? Oh, no, no. I mean, like, I saw clips and stuff on YouTube, but I've, I haven't personally seen it, but, you know. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand, mate. Um, So, are you... If that was... To happen, who would win? My opinion, I think. Uh, I'm not not trying to be biased or anything, but I think Shakur Stevenson would edge it out. Like I think yeah. he's the sharper boxer. And, and for me, he's he has the height advantage, and I think he's got well, he's got the power, hasn't he? Oh, Shakur can really pop, but he he picks his shots like he's he's laser. He's a laser guy, you know. Yeah. That's fair enough. There's some good fights out there that's happening. Another one, Crawford Spence. That's that's a banging fight. Yeah, no, I'm that one. I I'm already rooting for Crawford on that one. 
You say, mate. He's one of my favorites. He's a dangerous switch hitter, man. Power in both sides, southpaw or orthodox. Um, Spence is pretty slick, though, isn't he? Like, oh yeah, he's got power too, definitely. Mm-hmm. That's a good fight. I've had loads yeah. of people. I've asked loads of people who've came on there who they think's gonna win. Um, and I've got mixed opinions really. Somebody said Spence points, Crawford knockout, and then points just split unanimous. Just. Actually, no, there hasn't been a unanimous. We all, everyone I've had on said it would be close, but it will be a good fight, and it's gonna, it's gonna be interesting. But I, at the minute, I'm saying Crawford round ten. Yeah, yeah, I could see him knocking Spence out. Actually, like Crawford doesn't seem to fade on the the late rounds. He seems to get stronger, and he he's sharp all the way through. He's got power in both hands. Mm-hmm. What about your no contest? What happened with it? Oh man, that one was funny. Um, let's just say uh, after the second round, my my opponent was already bloodied up. Like it was head it clash. Started off, yeah, it would start off with an accidental head clash. Like he dipped down a little too low, he got cut on the top of his uh, say yeah, the the right side, and he like he landed like right here, which gave me like a welt right in my eye. I didn't yeah. get cut, which is good, but then he I saw like a little gash, and then would you rematch would you, that guy? Oh, I would, man, definitely. But it is what it is. Uh, and you've got a big, bigger opportunity now, haven't you? Exactly. So time's not right for him and his team, but I, I want the rematch. I want to rematch all of my uh, opponents. I want, I always want to get like a better win. I understand, mate. That you always just want to keep improving, especially that loss. I'm sure you want to revenge it, revenge uh, it when you think you've won, as well. Yeah, I want, I want to revenge all my, all my. Uh, losses yeah of course um i can't pronounce your opponent's name but um he's one and oh what what yeah. what do you know about him i know i actually met him already um he's a tall guy he's um he's got a high pe- a boxing pedigree like he's got a good amateur background so he's got the range over me for sure he's sharp he's quick and um you need to get in that inside mate i have to be the aggressor in this fight for sure yeah, you, you. I'm not giving your game plan away, uh, you know, but I think you would be trying to go for the body, try work your way inside. Is that's what people try to, tend to do when the guy is bigger than them. Exactly. My goal is, is, is as you said, I gotta go for the body, lower him a little bit, and see if I could hit, hit him. Hopefully, there. that stoppage comes. Ah, well, we'll see. It's boxing, you know. You'll ne- you never know. But all yeah. I want to do. And you've you're already a winner, mate, because you've got yourself on this big platform, and, and I'm sure you whatever happens, mate. Um, was this your dream when? G- g- sorry, going back, how did you start boxing? Oh, honestly, like I started boxing when I was 19. I just uh, this I started with a friend of mine. I ended up staying. Like I had my first uh, amateur fight after two years of training, and realized. Oh, I really like the sport. And I just how many it. amateur fights did you have? I've had fifteen or sixteen amateur fights. Not mm-hmm. too many. Most of them were in the pro amateur, so it's like a no headgear. Your your style suit more suited to the pros, would you say? Exactly. Yeah, that's how I started off. Mm-hmm. Yes, mate. So yeah, did you, much, but, did you uh, win like anything, like any national titles or? Uh, in BC, I won um a silver medal in uh the provincials. What's BC? Uh, British Columbia. Oh, in Canada. So, d- was most of your fights in Canada, or were any of them out of Canada, or just all of them in Canada? All of them were in Canada. Yeah. Mhm. And what would you say was your biggest win as an amateur? Biggest win as an amateur was a guy with um. Honestly, it was for the the boxing BC uh provincials mm-hmm. where I got over medal against a taller opponent. His name is uh Gavin Beasler. I took him all the way to the to the decision. I got a unanimous on that one, so I was I was proud of that one. He you got the bigger. unanimous win. And I'm I sure don't... yes, mate, oh. that's brilliant. Yeah. That was the that, aggressor. That, that, that's one of your highlight wins, would you say? Definitely, because he's a good boxer, and even now he's improved much more. So, is he a pro boxer now? Pardon? 
Is he a pro boxer now? Not yet, but he eventually he'll probably go into that, yeah. And what weight's he fighting at? Uh, he moved up in weight. He's actually 147 now. I fought him at 140, so he's he's a bigger kid now. So what weight are you? Are you super light or lightweight? Um, Technically, I'm going to fight at 135, but I can do both. Um, what I like this fight at? This one is a catch weight of uh, 137. So, yeah. So, is it four rounds? Once, for sure. Is this your last four rounder? Uh, we'll see. Like, I'm trying to get my uh, my next fight to be a six rounder, actually. Back Cause home. Because I, I see, um, I think you've got still got one pencil in, haven't you? 22nd of July. Did I see that? 20, uh, the 20th of July? 22nd, it said on BoxRec, I thought. Oh, I'm not sure. Because uh, there's a potential fight for me on the 20th of July. Oh, maybe the 20th, but I definitely saw you add one pencil, did I? Th- it was 100% in July. Maybe the 20th, mate. I'm, I think it was the 20th, but maybe I got my dates wrong, but probably the 20th, because you know more than me, but yeah. No worries, man. So is that like a homecoming for you, that one? Yeah, that one in July. is. Uh, that one's going to be back home. And I'm excited for that one too. That one's probably going to be a rematch with my most recent opponent. The wait, the what? Which one? The one you lost or? The one that I beat. Or the one you beat. Yeah, it was a majority decision. So they they thought there was uh they thought like they could do better next time too. They and... thought they won as well. Well, no, they they think they can do better. Like they they want the rematch. I'm like I'm there to prove them wrong. That's all it is. And you're and you're gonna make sure it's the repeat. Exactly, but better. Always better. So is that six or four? I think it's going to be a six rounder. Even better. Yeah, I I like the longer round. So, but perfect. How excited are you? Like, um, because you're first on the card, kicking off the show with a bang, in my opinion. Oh, I'm actually very excited because it's my opportunity to get the crowd wild. You know, to get them going. Is he signed with Matchroom, like your opponent? Yeah, uh, Chris Stack Basil do it. He signed with Matchroom. He was one of the new signees. So, oh yeah, because I, th- I think I thought I recognised um him because I thought uh because I've seen him box before. I think I saw his debut because it was on Matchroom. It was. Yeah, it was also one of the zone cards as well. Yeah. Yeah, I think I was watching it. Um, did you? T- are you taking much from that debut? Have you watched his debut quite a few times? Yeah, I took a lot from that fight, but he's probably a different fighter now, so I have to be I, not underestimating anyone. Like he's probably a much better fighter now, so I have to go in there with a uh, and just stick to my game plan though, and that's uh, southpaw tactics, fighting against a southpaw, all that. Yeah, it is, mate. But what what would it mean to you, like winning on this card? Like, what would it do for you and your career? Oh, it'd feel great, like, knowing that I'm ready to be on the big stage, even if it's just a four-round fight, six-round fight, or so on. At least it's I know incredible I'll... you're fighting on it. Yeah, exactly. It's a great opportunity to be here. And you're going to grab it with both hands. Exactly. Win or lose, I'm just going to do my best, my absolute best. That's all we ask, mate. Just give it your absolute all. Four yeah. rounds, just give it your all. Um, if you leave that ring with... You've left everything in the ring on that night that you've got, then that's all your trainer can ask. Exactly. That's it. It's all we can do. So with who's your trainer and how long have you been with your trainer for? Um, I'm currently independent right now. Um my wife is training me. She's actually a very good coach. Like she doesn't think so, but she knows what she's talking about. And um I'm just getting help from all sorts of gyms. I'm just been gym hopping but back home. Be in your corner. Yeah, actually, she will be. Is this a? Is she? Does she box as well? Yeah, definitely. But it's not like known. It's not like uh, amateurs or pros or anything. She just boxes on the side. But oh, like fair that. enough. Yep, she trains with men. Like she, she knows. So is she your head coach at the minute. Basically, yeah. That's good, mate. 
And has she trained you for all three of your fights so far? Uh, for my previous fights, I was with other gyms at the time. For my uh, my most recent fight, actually, I was with a, a boxing gym in uh, Surrey, uh, Mendoza Boxing. They helped me out, too. Um, I'm just independent right now for personal reasons. And, um, yeah. yeah, doing good. And um, are you... Because, of course, the weigh-ins tomorrow, are you... Like, are you feeling... Because when you... um have the way in like you can after you can eat like what you want what's the first thing you're gonna eat after the way in um honestly there's a a pokey place near here and i want to try pokey i love mm. i love uh sashimi man yes mate so that that's the first thing you're gonna eat after oh yeah yeah i bet you're looking forward to it well definitely maybe like a a burger on the side as well Oh, even better, mate. What what, what what do you like in your burger? What, a cheeseburger or what do you like in the burger? Oh, like the classic. Uh, it's got to have bacon on it, though. Yeah, f- bacon in burger, mate. That's nice. That's good. Yeah. Yes, mate. That's fair enough. So for anyone back home watching you, like what time will you be on Canada time? Um, We're two hours ahead here, so it'll be about around three p.m there so it's about uh, 11 o'clock over here so not it's not that bad i'll make sure i watch you mate i'll make sure that uh, sounds good man sounds good be, sh- be shouting in in my room shouting for you yeah i just want to uh with this interview i just want to uh, give a quick shout out to my uh my team back home hidden city jason all you guys thanks Have you for got any me. sponsors that you want to thank as well uh empire boxing Thank you guys for the merch. Thank you guys for helping me. And also for you, man. Thank you, Sam, for interviewing me. You're you're wonderful, man. I I, I really do appreciate you, mate, uh, for coming on. And uh, make sure you get that win. I'll be rooting for you, mate. And um, um, we'll get an interview after the big win, mate. Or I'll Sounds give good. you one. No matter what the result is, you're more than welcome to come back on. Sounds good, man. I'd be, I'd be glad to be back on, man. It and, was um, great to meet you. Thank you, mate. And I appreciate your time. And um, smash it, mate. All the best. Will do. Have a wonderful day, man. Thank and you. And you too, mate. Enjoy your day. Cheers. Bye.